Hi and welcome to smallbuck.com. Uh, this is our screencast video tutorial on helping businesses uh, get set up with some services online. Today's screencast is about setting up your um, business on Google Maps so that you'll show up as a local business when, whenever someone does a search on Google Maps or just on Google in general. Uh, today we are going to use Bronco and Associates as a uh, example of how to do this. They're a new client offering insurance in Franklin, Tennessee. So once you have your Gmail account, and we have a video for that, if you don't know how to set up a Gmail account or create one, then you can watch that. But once you have your Gmail account and you're signed in, you can just Google uh, local business center and that will show up. Uh, or you can go to the maps, uh, Google, or you can go to this address at the top of your screen, maps.google.com forward slash local and uh, you'll find your way to this website uh, and what we're going to do first is we are going to add a new business so we'll go to this add new business button we'll click on that and then we're just going to begin to enter in all the information that's necessary for the business okay so we'll start off with the name and uh, we'll do it just like this Bronco and Associates Okay and of course the United States is the state there and we're going to put in their address okay that's 725 and so you can see over in the right there the map is already uh, finding his location alright and then we're going to put in the suite number okay and Franklin is the uh, city or town and then we'll just select the, the state uh, he's here in Tennessee okay and then the zip code and of course you know you're going to enter in all of your own uh, information uh, and of course we got the the main number there if you don't have a um, for example maybe maybe you just use your cell number that's fine to put your cell number down there as a way for clients to reach you you know if you can't decide if you want to do it or not uh, then you can just leave this blank but uh, of course it's always a good idea to um, give your clients a way to to reach you you know if they get this far and they're searching for you then you obviously want that on there and uh, if it's associated with your business more than likely uh, you know, like I said if you're using your cell number um, you know they're gonna find it anyway from being on your website and things like that you know telemarkers and whatnot but can always get it taken off the do not call list anyway just for your information there moving on uh, and then of course we'll put in the email address in case someone wants to email Marty about insurance uh, so it's Marty at Bronco and associates com and see you can see it just there to the right as the map is being updated as we enter in this information that's what someone's gonna see uh, when they find your business online, they're going to see exactly what we're putting in there. So you've got the phone number, name of the business, the email that they can that they can reach, and then of course we're going to put in the uh, website address that Marty's just uh, gotten from smallbuck.com. And you want to do the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.broncoandassociates.com. Okay, just like that there and moving on now description you know you're gonna get to put in some keywords here and uh, you're gonna get to put some more keywords down here so description you, know, you don't have to just list out keywords you know they don't only have to be the words that people are gonna search for uh, to find your business but those certainly will help okay so um, we're gonna start off with and we're gonna include some keywords for him we're gonna say a uh, Franklin Tennessee based insurance okay so we've got three really key keywords there they're, they're very important okay Franklin Tennessee insurance right out of the gate okay and that's important you, you don't want to only list keywords but you want to type a description that's got some keywords in it okay that's only going to benefit you so here we go a Franklin Tennessee based insurance company providing okay and then we're just gonna we're gonna list off some of his services right here which uh, may or may not be his uh, key uh, words
words that he's he's looking for and it's kind of redundant to say key keywords uh, so I will avoid that but um, so we'll just we'll just list those off there and you can just be thinking of what you would be putting in here and remember none of this is permanent this is a free service provided by Google that you can go back in and uh, update this anytime you want to okay and uh, change it as often as you like okay so if you feel like well I didn't do that quite the way I wanted to or or there's a new product or service that I offer you can always go back in here and uh, update these okay so um, there we go all right that's long enough now category <coughs> this is where we're going to be just a little bit more specific um, about what it what the keywords are that that Marty is looking for okay so we're gonna look for insurance and um, it'll just pull up exactly what uh, what it what it is that he does of course he does health insurance so we'll put that in there and we're gonna add another one okay so we notice that life insurance is in there so we're gonna put in life insurance and we're just gonna add another one why not uh, let's see here see if annuities will pop up and it, it doesn't so we'll look at um, uh, let's see let's try long-term care uh, so assisted living facility we might try that and someone would come across him and that would be helpful to him um, so let's let's uh, it let's say that you have something that doesn't pop up then just type it in okay it doesn't have to it doesn't have to fit inside of uh, their predefined categories now great great if if it does fit um, but if it doesn't, um, then you certainly can just make up uh, make up your own. Okay. Now, so we do fundraising for charities. Okay. Okay. And these are all words that he uses on his website. And once we've got all of those in there, and again, you can always go back. And change this stuff later so if you misspell something and I often do uh, or you want to change it you can uh, and once you've got that then you're just gonna go down the bottom you're gonna hit next and it's just gonna take a second to to get everything there and then you go through and you say okay these are my hours of operation and you know nine to five looks good to me okay and you can always go back and change these later if you choose not to uh, we're gonna say that Marty takes cash check American Express, Discover, MasterCard, and Visa. Okay, and he'll he may change those uh, later on. All right, and you can choose to upload a file here or add a photo. Um, if you have any videos that you want to add, uh, I know Marty has uh, some video that he may like to put on there, and he can put that right on here. Um, if there are any other details that you would like to add, uh, like parking available? Yes brands carried okay and so if there's a certain brand of investments that he carries or certain brands of insurance definitely put those in there because that's just gonna help you to get found alright and then we're gonna hit submit so there we go now this is this is a key part here is that um, we're going to enter in uh, or excuse me we're gonna confirm uh, that this is us okay so I'm setting this up for Marty right now so it's it's not me but um, what what will happen is is I if I say by phone what's gonna happen is they're gonna call this phone number and they're gonna give Marty a uh, a code and then I'm going to get that code from Marty and then I'm gonna hit finish I'm gonna type that code in and then uh, this uh, the ad may not show up right away but it will show up uh, later on uh, and it just takes a little time to process and then people will be able to start finding you on Google Maps so there you go that's how you do it very easy and if you have any questions as always you can email us uh, you can email me at donald at smallbuck.com thank you and I hope you enjoyed it